Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that for all our 200 videos I made so far on Shopify customization. Because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every code I do create, including the videos as well, I do post them completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide. I respect your decision, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. If this video helped you out, if it didn't, just drop me a comment and I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with another requested video, which is how to adjust the spacing between product cards or grids as some might call them on your Shopify store and I mean between the pictures on your collection page or home page and future product, the space between the pictures product pictures, I will show you how to adjust that space and without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do share, I do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most used one, also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify, the most used ones, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try all my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'll make sure that even if you're not using Down Team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind. Because you're going to see me on the video doing it on Down Team. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind and without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to adjust the spacing between product cards or grids on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So literally everything on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here on the channel on the Shopify store that means it's already done and posted in one of my tutorials because I don't remove the changes from here I keep them so people can see them but what I'm talking about in this video is the spacing little spacing right here between the product cards this one right here and yeah rounded corners and shadow effect I did that in tutorials no worries everything everything there is no single thing I didn't make a video on how to do Literally everything and more on the way, <laughs> more on the way. So let's just click on uh, view all to see more products in here. And as you can see, for example, in here, there's very little space. For some people it might not look good. They think this is not good. For me, it's fine. But in this video, I will show you how to adjust the spacing to make more space in here or less space. It's your choice. So obviously we will keep this page open to the trick and come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. And after that, it will take you to the code editor on your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something, use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to mention this like for the million time now. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css or some rarely custom made teams gonna be custom.css but mostly they use base or team or style I know in here is base so I'm gonna type in base here is base.css click on it bunch of CSS code will show up after that scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's huge file here we go we are at the bottom of the page and in here we need to create some space to paste in our code because there is no space in here to create that space, simply click front of the last thing, in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard, and here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code. And this code will do the trick for us, will actually 
resize the spacing or adjust the spacing between product cards or product pictures or product grids as some might call it so obviously select the whole code in here right click and copy and you might see this value in here says a uh, grid gap grid gap that's simple right and 19 so obviously more spacing increase the number less spacing decrease the number that's simple in my case i'm gonna keep it as 19 so get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file so let me paste it in here i'm gonna keep it as 19 as i said we'll click on save button okay it's save it we'll get back to shopify store and reload the page and see the magic happens so let's just reload the page and here we go check it out now it's more space as you can see between each card and obviously if you added more space that means the other product cards will not fit on the page so it's gonna be down on the next section as you can see and that's really obvious because you create more space between the cards it's gonna push the other card to the down arrow and that's how you adjust the spaces between product cards or product grids or product pictures on collection page or home page and if you have any questions make sure to drop on below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching Catch you on the next one.